It's a wilderness many times the size of Europe, the hills and plains of Siberia. Wildlife today consists of bear and reindeer, but this was once the stamping ground of the woolly mammoth. Mammoths first appeared in northern Siberia around 400,000 years ago. They began to die out at the end of the last ice age, prompting scientists to speculate that climate change wiped them out. Now, climate change is bringing the woolly mammoth back. The burial ground of the mammoth, millions of kilometers of Siberian permafrost, is melting. From local herders and fishermen to professional expeditions mounted from Moscow, there's big money in mammoth remains. The value of the ivory has increased tenfold in recent years, fetching up to 600 US dollars a kilogram. The practice is encouraged by conservation groups who say demand for mammoth tusk relieves the illegal trade in elephant ivory. This is the vast blanket of Siberian permafrost from a meter to a kilometer deep. It's thought the remains of some 150 million mammoths lie here. Now these guys here are taking soil samples on what will likely become a building site and this is what they're pulling up out of the ground. It's earth but it's frozen solid. As global warming does its work, the melting permafrost releases harmful methane gas into the atmosphere. It also reveals the mammoth remains. Some ivory makes it to the workbench of local carvers, resurrecting the work of 17th century Russian artisans. It's organic, it's alive, and very nice to work with. You can feel some kind of connection to it, like you're giving it a second life. The bulk ends up in the hands of businessmen in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Skeletons are sold to museums, ivory is shipped around the world. This skull and tusks packaged for delivery is worth $80,000. Of course I'd be lying if I didn't say it was profitable. It is. And then there's this, the fully intact remains of a baby mammoth named Luba. Luba's discovery last year caused a scientific storm. She'll help determine how the mammoths lived and precisely how they died. Russian scientists are using her tissue to sequence the mammoth genome. That could lead to cloning. It's a long shot, but global warming may indeed bring this prehistoric creature back to life. Jonah Hal Al Jazeera, Salihart.